All right, what's up, guys? So today, we mentioned in our last video that sheep is one of the things that we're going for. So here's the guys and the girls, or should I say the one guy. There's Luna. She's she's our guard dog. That's actually what we're doing today. We're going to fill up the guard dog feeder. Like I said, these are Saint, the ewes are St. Croix and Katahdin mix, half and half. And there's our boy Roscoe. He's our ram. He is full registered St. Croix, so this will be his first breeding cycle here with us. And he just got put in, uh, I believe, two weeks ago. So we're looking at our, um, looking at some, <clears throat> we're actually looking to be lambing at the end of February, 1st of March of 2024. We got him in this paddock right now. We're currently in the mix of trying to finish up this one six acre piece for the winter time there's the hay barn all our hay we got stocked back that's for the cows and there's our other guard dog that's diesel little one's diesel well they're about the same size now but this is diesel here and there's luna and they're loving being back together they were separated a couple weeks ago we had the flock separated out all right <clears throat> so this is our guard dog feeder and right now we're still trying to get our mineral situation for the sheep figured out a little better but that's what we've got so far i've got plans for it <clears throat> try and make a future video of that but so this is it um this is a greg judy inspired guardian dog feeder you'll hear us mention greg judy a bunch um he is we are modeled and I reckon you could say modeled and we really try and take after the Greg Judy model he's got going up there. If you've never seen any Greg Judy videos, I highly recommend go check him out on YouTube. Very informational. Um, he's really, that's, that's kind of what we've done. That's how we've got our start with everything. We've just kind of modeled after him. Granted, he does his guardian feeders a little bit different. Um, I kind of made some modifications to this for one, where the dogs go in right here. I believe he goes, uh, six or seven inches i went ahead and went about 10. i was a little concerned on whether the dogs would be able to fit under it but of course you can see they they get in and out pretty easy but they are empty and today's the day we just swung by track supply we just feed them just the 50 pound to be honest with you we give them the, the cheapest bag we can find another thing that we do that greg judy doesn't do we uh we put a piece of tin on top over the summer, this thing can get pretty hot. As you can see, there's a door here. They have to touch with their nose. It's usually say, yeah. They get in here and they touch it with their nose like you're probably fixing to see Luna do it. Yep, and that, uh, that opens it. That can get real hot in the summer and they don't want to touch it. So we try and, for one, keeping it shade, shaded. And another reason is to try and keep the moisture and the rain out. And um, this worked pretty well for us. So I'll try and make a video real quick of how we uh, fill this thing up and uh, try and give you a couple more specs on it. If you want any ideas on this build, and all it is is it's just cow panels, hog panels, people call them different things. That we just cut in sections and we put it on some runners. We get ready to move it from paddock to paddock. We just unhook our rope right here. We hook it to the Can-Am or the four-wheeler, and then it just pulls right along to the next paddock. Pretty uh, pretty nice, simple little build. We'll try and show you real quick, filling this thing up. All right. So maybe that stay hooked on there. Maybe I'm in the frame, I don't know. I'm kinda new to all this filling stuff, so. Basically what we do is we just take some wires. We just do that. We'll undo the wires to be able to get up under. The top of it's got a door. So, um, and if you see this outfit, I just got off work. I had sweatpants on today. It's that South Georgia weather where it, uh, it's in the 40s in the mornings and in the afternoon it's, it's heated back up. So. Before we put the top on it, you could just lift it up. What I usually do is I'll hold it like this right here. Open the door. And you can 
tell Luna was ready. I'll tell you one thing we did run into a little bit when Diesel was a puppy was trying to get Luna to allow him to go in. And that took a little bit of time, but after a while of us just kind of encouraging it, it finally worked out. And now they'll both share it. But when it's the initial feeding time, Luna still kind of rules the roost on, on getting in first. So. One thing, and you'll hear Greg Judy talk about it, one of the main things with the guardian dog feeder, and that's really the reason you have the feeder, is the sheep can't get in. So you do not want your sheep getting a taste of dog food. Because once they do, they will go crazy trying to get to it. like a two by four and leave out here to hold and prop this and if I did I could probably just pick the bag up like I used to but this is just kind of how I've been doing it lately. it's another one of those mini projects that uh, I need to get around and do Our dogs are full great Pyrenees. They'll get close to 100 pounds. They're full grown, so this 50 pound of dog food usually lasts them two and a half, maybe three weeks. That's basically it. Do that two and a half every three weeks. Not much to it. Um, it's, like I said, it's worked well for us. As you can tell, the sheep are always interested. We try and go full grass fed. So we try not to feed any, any grain. Now granted, when we were starting out and trying to figure out how to load, load sheep and do all that, we, we used grain to entice them to load and to move a little bit but once they got the hang of it we can kind of cut that out but yeah so this is our dog feeder our guardian dog feeder like i said we modeled this after mr greg judy on youtube and it's uh it's worked pretty well for us so far so if you got any questions leave them down in the comments or shoot me an email <laughs> and uh make sure to like and subscribe